Hi, today I'm here to show you how to safely remove your high voltage tank from your Hologic system. One of the first things you want to do is ensure that the software is off and that you removed all power from the system and also unplug the system from the wall itself to eliminate all voltage possible. Next, you would have to remove the table pad. And you do this by simply just kind of peeling the Velcro back and you can just drape it over the table. Pop the centerpiece out itself, which will actually give you access to the high voltage tank area. First, you have to remove the plastic cover on top. There are two screws on each side to remove those. Just a regular screwdriver is used to remove these screws. Very simply, again, one on each side. I've already removed the one on this side for you. Pulling the tank cover off, setting that aside. This gives you full access to the tank itself. Looking at your XRC in front of the tank, this is held on by two screws here and two screws here on this side. Also, your aperture assembly and your filter drum will need to be removed to safely get the tank out of the system. I will show you how to do that after we remove the XRC X-ray controller. In order to remove the XRC, once you have the screws out, you should very easily be able to pull this back a little bit. And then on the inside of the table, you'll see some connections on this XRC, all of which need to be removed. Removing the connections. Once those connections are off, a lot of times you'll have enough length on this cord to actually very carefully set your XRC down and get access to a small flathead screwdriver to remove this cable. Also a ground screw here that needs to be taken off. Once your XRC is disassembled, take and set aside. Now we need to get into removing the filter drum assembly, the aperture, if you will. There are three screws basically that hold this on to your tank assembly. One screw here, one screw here, and then there is one also on the other side, which is very hard to see. A 332nd Allen wrench will be used to remove those three Allen screws. Once the screws are removed from your aperture assembly, there are ribbon cables that lead back to your C-arm interface board back here that actually need to be disconnected. This will allow you to remove your aperture assembly. Remove this, just simply pull up and out a little bit to try to get it away from anything that might be in the way. And this now can be set aside. One of the next things to look out for is there is a plastic cover covering your terminal strip on top of the high voltage tank. That needs to be removed in order to be able to slide the tank out. And those are held on by just small screws in the back. Once that is removed, plastic cover can come off very easily. This cable connected to that terminal strip can be pulled through. Very carefully, of course.
There is a ground wire connecting to the top of the tank. That needs to be removed. That goes back here toward the CRM interface board again. Once that cable is free, we come around to the front of the tank. And we basically have four bolts that are holding the tank in. These two here and these two on this side. If we remove these two, the tank should very easily slide out. That is a 7 16 socket for those. Okay, once you have the four screws in front that are removed and you've taken off any ground connections that might be on top of the tank, Again, that plastic cover in the back is clearance out of the way and any cables uh, need to kind of be pushed down to the side for clearance. We're basically just going to slide this tank right out and we need to be careful on this tank. They are very heavy. So what you'd want to do is slide in some sort of a cart or a stand to slide this right off onto very easily. When removing the tank, just slide your cart, four wheel dolly, if you will, and just slide the tank out very easily keeping in mind that no connections are catching as you're sliding the tank out and that's how you safely remove your high voltage tank one thing to look out for is when you receive your other tank you may have to save this cable for your termination connections on top of the tank. Uh, and then basically just repeat the process to put everything back in. Keeping in mind that once your tank is in, you need to verify an alignment and get a good alignment with the aperture and filter drum. Uh, there's also an alignment tool that is specially used to ensure for good alignment before calibration. If you are in need of a high voltage tank replacement, we have them available please contact us.